My name is Azad from Questions Factory, and today we're going to show you our very first game, USAC Code Breach. So today we thought it would be interesting to show you the details of this new cooperative adventure and show you the main aspects of its gameplay. So let's see what we got. We wanted to add a good dose of cyberpunk universe, and we're French. So we added some French stuff. We even added photorealistic red. We ended up creating a world where the energy and climate crisis have completely reshaped the society. A world where big companies like Gentech Biosystems develop new ways to produce energy, food, and with the help of governments, use technology to control the population. Because deep down, you love dystopia, right? It's in this extremely cheerful context that you will play the role of two police agents among the special unit against cyber attacks, both mobilized to respond to the brutal shutdown of one of the GTEC Biosystems facility in Paris. As we're just a team of two working on this game, it's quite natural that we have oriented ourselves towards the conception of a cooperative adventure. What would go wrong? Multiplayer bugs intensify. As a member of the police force, your role is to investigate what happened, but also to maintain order by neutralizing potential threats that may want to slow you down. This is exactly what this game is. It's a cooperative game with a lot of challenges in which you'll have to progress all that between reflection and action. For the gameplay, we wanted to focus on specific skills, observation, communication and, of course, shooting. With your teammate, you'll have to progress in a very hostile environment with limited resources, without oxygen, without insurance, while bypassing the obstacles that separate you from your objective. And it's not easy. In this game, the roles are asymmetrical. It means you can choose between two types of character classes, the digital operator or the infiltration agent. Loading classes data. Please wait. As the digital operator, you represent the hacking part of the game. You'll be equipped with a special laptop to access terminals, computers and get information from them. You also have access to additional storage using a backpack, which allows you to store many more items than your teammate. You also have a permanent access to a citizen database that helps you to identify any citizen from DNA traces your partner finds. In terms of weaponry, your weapons and protections will make you an essential asset in all combat situations. The other class is very different, as it combines the role of a scout, informant and infiltrator. As an infiltration agent, you have a lot more mobility than your teammates. And by using the analyzer, you'll be able to identify any available systems to hack such as computers or keypads. The cool thing about that is that every system becomes visible to your ally. You are perfectly adapted to recon, since you can also send electronic signatures of potential threats, and they can be used by your teammate to aim at these targets, which makes the whole fight easier. To help you explore your environment, you possess a wide range of gadgets that allows you to unlock physical accesses, such as plates or vents, the hand scanner can analyze DNA from traces, which makes it vital for filling in the database of your teammate. The Stinger is a very handy tool that creates electric arcs and neutralizes enemies and obstacles such as mines and so on. Complementarity is the key. By understanding your own abilities and those of your partner, you learn to develop a powerful cooperative mindset. And to make your investigation even more effective, constantly communicate. Every time, everywhere. Rule number one, never remain silent. Rule number two, always think together. Rule number three, follow us on Twitter, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and to Network failure. Backup power system is starting. We even created a training area where you can test your skills in full. We 
want to use that card breach to represent a certain challenge. Generally, nothing is explicitly stated by the game. Puzzles are solved by observation and communication, and these tasks can be made more intense as you'll have to manage moments of tension and even combat at the same time. At this point, somebody is maybe thinking, This game is all about torturing us. The game is supposed to be easy. Yes, probably. And know that Questions Factory is a safe place for everyone to uh, express their opinions. Are you sure you want to proceed? The special atmosphere of the game, the fights and the puzzles are an interesting blend that resulted in this demanding entertainment. The one you couldn't find on the market until now.